Books, books, books. Oh, I love a good book. I'm a voracious reader. I love books of all kinds from all different authors. My favorite category are self-improvement books. Obviously, I'm the writer of a self-help book, Captivate, The Science of Succeeding with People. But today I wanted to talk about my favorite self-improvement books specifically for building confidence. I have a whole list of these books, but I wanted to share just my first 10 favorites where you can get started on boosting confidence and using some beautiful beautifully brilliant authors to help. So are you ready for book number one? This is Stillness is the Key by Ryan Holiday. So I love Ryan. Ryan and I are friends. We have another uh, video on the channel that you can check out. Ryan is a brilliant writer of Stoic philosophy. And what I love about this book specifically, it's about quieting your mind and finding your true inner confidence. What's great about this book is it's not about doing more, it's actually about doing less. And I find that some of our best confidence is in our untapped hidden resources. Beautiful book, great stories. I actually love all of Ryan's books, but this is a great one to get started with. All right, next one. Ta -da -da -da. You might not recognize recognize this because this is an original copy of How to Win Friends and Influence People by Dale Carnegie. How to Win Friends and Influence People by Dale Carnegie was one of the first books I ever read about social intelligence, about um, interacting with people, about influence. I think he's a brilliant author. It's from the early 1900s, and I found an original copy. You can see it's worn here, and it's signed by the author. This was like one dollar at a garage sale. I, I wept with joy when I found this book and that's because it's brilliantly written on how to interact with people. In fact, book number three, I hope you will, you'll forgive me, book number three is my book and that's because this book, How to Win Friends and Influence People, influenced why I wrote Captivate. Because How to Influence, Win Friends and Influence People was such an incredible book and helped so many people, I wanted to know was there any science behind what he said. And so I wrote Captivate as a modern guide to how to win friends and influence people with some of the actual science behind what he said. So um, those are my my books together because uh, they're uh, this is the the old school version and the new school new sc new school version. Oh my goodness, I write I write clearer than I talk. I promise. Okay, next one is. Untamed by Glennon Doyle. So I recently read this book and I absolutely loved it. I thought it was a beautiful story of discovery and a journey um, specifically for women. So if you're a female watching and you wanna build your self-confidence, her story is tremendous. And she talks about finding your inner cheetah, which I'll let you read if, you're, if that kind of speaks to you. All right, next one, totally different kind of book. So I love science and I've always been fascinated with the science of our confidence, but the, the stories of our confidence, but also the science. And I love this book. If you're into science, it's called Habits of a Happy Brain. It's by Loretta Graziano Bruning. And she talks about the four main chemicals of happiness. This really helped me understand how my brain works, how confidence works in my body, how my, physiologic, my physiology affects my confidence and happiness. So if you're a science geek like me, you're gonna really like this one because it's super um, based in the way our brain and body works. It's actually, it's funny, I put these next to each other because they're, they're kind of opposites but the same. They're both talking about how to be happier, but one is with story and case studies and inspiration, and the other is with science and research. So depending on your flavor, uh, that you can pick one that, that, that fits you best. I love both. All right, next one. This is a beautiful book. You notice I have tons of tabs. I, I read this book all the time. It's Radical Acceptance by uh, Tara Bratch. Break. Ooh, I'm saying it right. This book took me by surprise. So I have a rule in my life where if a book or movie is recommended to me three times or more by people I respect or sources I respect, I have to read it. So if I've heard about a book more than three times by people I respect, I have to add it to my list. Sure enough, this book was recommended to me three times many, many years ago. And I was like, I don't know. I don't know if it's a book for me. And so I ignored it. And then a fourth time and then a fifth time. This book got recommended to me six times until I finally picked it up. And boy, were they right. I had been missing out. So this is a beautiful book. It's called Radical Acceptance, Embracing Your Life with the Heart of a Buddha. So it's... Um, Again, I know you're like, I don't know, Vanessa, right? You're like, uh, not that one. No, not that one. I'm telling you, this one took me by surprise. It's so beautifully written, and it's really about radical self-acceptance. And I think that for confidence, we have to accept and love ourselves. Yeah. So 
this is my fifth, sixth, seventh recommendation on this one. <laughs> okay. All right. Totally on a different side of the spectrum. Like I like doing opposites of books, right? Like I'm one person and I love both of these books and they are kind of opposite in a little bit of a way. So um, Terror Break is all about spirituality and feelings and empathy and compassion. I swear it's wonderful. I don't mean to be teasing it, it's, it's, but it's a very soft book. Whereas Seth Godin is all about the strategy, the practice. This book, Lynchpin, is one of my favorite Seth books, and I love all of Seth Godin's books. They're all amazing. But this is one of my favorites, and it's about how do you be a linchpin in your office, on your team, with your friends? How do you be that indispensable person? And the reason why I like this is because it's not only about your own confidence and your own self-worth, but also about making sure other people realize that self-worth. Like the very first line of the book, which I just love. Don't worry, I won't read all of it. Very first line of the book, introduction. You are a genius. This book, I read it and I'm like, yes. Like, I feel like I got something. I got it. So he really helps you feel like you have something really special to give the world and you have to make sure the world knows how to hear it. Love this book. Mm, love that book. Okay. Um, I'm going to go through this one next. So this is... Um, a book by my beautiful friend, Judy Holler. You can see I even have tabbies in this one too. So this is Fear Is My Homeboy, How to Slay Doubt, Boss Up, and Succeed on Your Own Terms. This is a great empowerment manifesto. If you want, if you wish you had a best friend on your nightstand, just telling you that you can do it and here's how, that's Judy Holler. She's hilarious. So if you want a little bit of a fun one, this is great. It's a really fast read, but it will make you feel so good. She's kind of like your best friend in a book, you know, kind of like your best friend in a book. And she's like amazing. I have an interview with her. Hopefully you can see that in another video and she's fantastic. So watch our video and read her book. All right. Next one, a little more serious. Look how this one's really thick. There's a lot. This is a beef. This is a, a beef. This is a, this is a, What's the word? This is a meaty. <laughs> this is a beef. <laughs> what I wanted to say, this is meaty. <laughs> this is meaty. <laughs> oh, this is meaty. Okay, so this is a meaty book. And the reason for that is because it is jam packed with science and stories. So Daniel Goleman is an incredible author and he does a wonderful job of weaving science and storytelling. So this is all about new leaders. And so if you want to translate your confidence into leadership, this is the book for you. It's gonna take those pillars of self-confidence and turn them into very practical leadership skills. And it's meaty, so you have to be a really willing to stick with it, but it's fantastic if you're willing to, especially if you wanna be a leader. So this one I'm a little partial to. This is a book by my dad. Yes, this is a book by my dad. So it's 10 Minutes to the Speech by Vance Van Petten. So that's my dad. If um, The reason why this book was so special to me is because um, it was how I began to learn to do public speaking. So I make a career public speaking. I make a career on YouTube. And some of the principles in this book were the very first to get me going. And it's also a little quick one. It's a little quick read. It's 10 Minutes to the Speech. He literally wrote it as if like, oh my goodness, I have a speech what can I read really quickly to make it better? So if you just want a quick guide to like, I need to be have better presence, this is a great little one. Shout out to my dad. Last one today is Blink by Malcolm Gladwell. So I had to include a Malcolm Gladwell book. Um, I think that this is actually my favorite Malcolm Gladwell book. I know most people like Tipping Point, if you've heard of that one, or Outliers. I love Blink. Specifically, since we're talking about self-improvement books, I think that Blink helps you trust your intuition. It helps you trust your gut. I think that in a crucial part of confidence is being able to trust your gut. So I highly recommend this one because it will help you feel like your intuition is right. And when you're talking about confidence, that's essential. That's incredibly important. So I have a whole list of my favorite books. I think we have over 30 on that list at scienceofpeople.com slash self dash improvement dash books. You can see my whole list. I'm also going to keep adding that list as time goes on. So be sure to bookmark it when you're ever looking for a good book to read. You can check that out. I'd also love to hear your favorite self-improvement books for confidence in the comments below. Hey, I want to tell you one more thing. You are amazing. The question is, do you know how to share it? I'd love to help. 
I saved my very best tips for my insider subscribers. Subscribe for free at scienceofpeople.com. I know your inbox is sacred, so I promise to send you only emails you will love. Did you like this video? Did you like my book recommendations? Give this video a like. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. I have so many more great tips coming.